Come on, Ryder. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to rock? Number 42 in the program, number one in your heart, Ryder Copa. Yeah. <laughs> Standing ovation in the crowd. I think Ryder was born with a stick in his hand. Nice. From the time he could sit up by himself, he would grab a little mini stick and try to hold it and kind of switch hands with it as he's learning. And then when he crawled, he crawled with his stick. Oh. Ryder does not let anything get in his way. He will run and his leg will fall off and he'll be like, my leg fell off! And he'll put it back on and he'll just keep going. Ryder has fibular hemimelia, so his fibia on his right lower leg stopped growing or didn't grow at all. And his right leg was shorter than his left leg. So two days before he turned one, they did an operation where they kind of amputated his foot that he had there and made it so he'd be able to wear a prosthetic leg. As he's gotten a little older and tried to start skating and doing things himself, his leg that was great for walking and running wasn't so great for skating. The weight of the skate kind of pulled the leg down on him and it would swivel and turn to a 90 degree angle when he was trying to skate. I think we were trying to come up with, with some kind of plan to, to, you know, have a prosthetic or something that would allow him to skate. And, um, you know, we didn't know how. Um, we just thought there's got to be something better. And then uh, my wife, Min, uh, made a video and you know, it took off from there. Most people who pass this elevator at First Niagara Center will never give it a second glance. His name is Ryder. He's two years old and loves sports, especially hockey. Ryder's favorite team is the Sabres and Nathan Gerby is his favorite player. I first seen the video, I think like everyone else has, that went around and, and talking about Ryder and, and his passion for the Sabres and also his passion for uh, for myself as a player and the way I play the game, so I think for me uh, it was very important for me to reach out for the kid and, and hopefully to uh, inspire any way I can. Something drew him to Nathan. You know, I don't know if it's Nathan's work ethic or just the way he is out there, his tenacity out on the ice. Maybe that touched something in Ryder. Um, so we don't know, but it's just it's always been there. Yeah. We exchange messages. They'll, they'll send me videos of Ryder playing mini six or, or street hockey, and you know, so it's always pretty funny. It's inspiring to get the get the news. It was the experience of a lifetime for the whole family. Uh, you know, we, went, we went down there and um, we were there for about a week and they had a team of prosthetists just working you know, around the clock on Ryder and uh, we had ice time every day. I got you. I'll just take little steps. And Ryder absolutely loved it. He had a smile the whole time. Uh, they built that leg and um, I think he knew right off the bat too that, okay, now I have this leg, this is going to make it a lot easier for me. And uh, you know he was very optimistic, and he had a little bit of a little <clears throat> kick in his uh, in his step. I think he really his confidence shifted. Yeah. He was trusting that leg a little bit more. Nathan uh, set up a little bit of time to get the, the ice, and he took Ryder skating. I guess I didn't know what to expect uh, when you, when you, when a kid this young gets a gets a prosthetic leg uh, to go on the ice, and you know the the way you view it is, is, is I can't believe he has the strength to even stand up like control the leg and I was amazed that he stood up and took a few shots and maybe fell down but got right back up again. What a goal! Nathan and Ryder have struck up a nice friendship and uh, you know Nathan's such a genuine person and uh, for Ryder to you know he couldn't have a better role model. I mean Nathan's the type of person you know you want your son to grow up to be. You know he's just he's fantastic. What a save! I think it's important to connect with a lot of kids, and I think you know if I if I can look at my life and and how I am viewed now, I think I have a chance to reach out to many people and and just kind of help move them in a direction and, and share my story and hopefully help someone else. Job, nice right. job, Ryder. Awesome. Good job, Knuckles. Boom. Nice. You know, the reason why I'm here on this earth and the reason why I made it to the NHL, being being five four, I think is to inspire people and and help others and, and share a story of, uh, of uh, work and sacrifice growing up and, and being the smallest and just trying to overcome all the negativity and, 
and just overcome the size uh, difference, I think, was huge for me. And it only made me stronger at the end, and I'm pretty pretty sure it's going to make Ryder stronger. He's going to turn out to be a really good kid, and you know he's going to be uh, better for it. I think. Everybody, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we're proud of you, buddy. Good job. You were <laughs> awesome. Fine. Ooh. <laughs> You're welcome anytime you want to come skate.